Hi everybody! Thanks for watching this. First and foremost, I noticed a few of the um, new subscribers so I would really like to thank everybody who liked my video. I know that it's not really professional and I'm really very lazy to edit and everything so I usually do everything in one take so excuse the poor quality of the, the video and excuse the um, continuous you know unedited stuff but um, I'd just like to share with you for January uh, the empties uh, some of them are not really bona fide empty, some of them are really tossing um, but I would just like to show you the stuff that I toss anyway because um, sometimes um, we've got to be at peace with ourselves the things that we can't use up, uh, you know, things that are expired um, I really feel that we should just let it go because as much as for me, as much as I like to hoard stuff I try to finish them and everything but if they are, you know, expired, you know and it's not good anymore I don't see why I should continue using them up because um, it's just bad for your skin overall so I would just like to walk you through the things that I've really completed I'll tell you and if those are the things that you know I probably have not used up and I'm trying to use it up and you know things I'm letting go I'll let you know as well okay so I'll start from this side and then uh, this is my very vintage um, vintage looking dustbin right here so I'm gonna start from this side and finish all the way here okay so the first thing that I'm tossing um, uh, not not really tossing it away it's just an empty box uh, this is the bombs shell seduction by Victoria's Secret I actually wanted to get the original version of this scent but um, my uncle bought the limited edition one for me um, is there a difference in the scent? Yes, there is. I can't really pinpoint to you what exactly is the difference, but um, this one uh, smells more sultry to me, so uh, I like it nonetheless. I'm still trying to finish it. Uh, I got this in uh, the 50 mil. I believe it's the smallest one. Um, I don't go through perfumes that quickly, but I love perfumes so much that I'll keep buying them. It's a really bad habit, but nonetheless, um, I'll try to finish it up, and if I do, it will definitely be in the empties video. So anyway, I'm tossing the blank, uh, I mean the, the empty box away because it's just too bulky. Um, yeah, so this is what I have uh, in my perfume collection right now. The Bombshell Limited Edition uh, One called Seduction. Yeah. Okay, the next one that I'm currently loving and I'm currently using is the Chloe Audi Parfum. Uh, it's also in the smallest um, smallest bottle size. I'm not tossing the bottle away. Uh, I, I'm i just tossing the box away because it's really very bulky to keep. Uh, like you see, it's like empty inside because it's in my perfume collection right now. So I'm currently loving this. So I'll be tossing the box away and uh, I'll continue to finish it up. And uh, yeah, if it's finished, it will be here. Yeah. Okay, the next thing that I have not finished but I'll be tossing away is this Black Moss Anti-Inflammatory Fish Oil 1000. Uh, basically, I bought this in Australia before I came back and I've been telling myself, yes, I need to eat some supplements and uh, it's generally good for my joints and stuff but I can't really finish them up because this is really in a very big bottle as you can see. Each time I believe you have to take four of them. Um, yeah, four capsule up to three times a day with meals for joint inflammation. Um, the size of the pill is actually this big. No, I'm not kidding, it's really this big. So you got to take four with each meal. I'm not really religious with taking my pills, uh, supplement or otherwise. And um, throughout the year, I've also been, you know, uh, taking other pills as well. So I don't like to mix because I do take some herbal uh, Chinese medicines as well. So Inevitably, this gets uh, a little bit side-tracked uh, somewhat, so anyway, this is already past its expiry, so I'm no longer going to take this because anything that is medicinal, I would really advise to throw it away once you hit the expiry date and really to go through your first aid kit as well. If you have one, uh, replenish the items which are expired because um, you do not want to play with your health in this way, okay? Okay, next up, um, I believe I've shown this many, many times before. This is the travel pack of the Revitalized No Rub Multipurpose Solution for all contact lenses. And um, truth be told, 
I still do have some bottles of this lying around in my bathroom but I do go through this really quickly so each time you see one of these in my empties it means that I bought a new pack to replenish my um, nearly gone or already gone stock so this one I still have probably a couple two or three in my bathroom I will be using them up soon but I guess um, because I've been trying to also wear uh, my contact lenses a little bit more so I figured I would probably do good if I were to buy this uh, the travel science version of the multi-purpose solution instead of the travel pack soon because each time I open the travel pack I usually can't, I can't finish it all so it's such a waste to not be able to regulate that and uh, it just goes to waste a lot of the product or rather a lot of the solution goes to waste so um, I'll be getting the screw cap bottle ones next Okay, this one, the Earl Grey Tea and Macaron Sheet Mask from My Beauty Diary, I am really done with this. This is the last one that I used recently. And I know the um, the scent or, or rather the ingredients like Earl Grey Tea and Macaron uh, sounds really, really sweet. But actually when I took it out and used it, it's, it's fine. Um, yeah, I would suggest to give this a try because this is one of the uh, latest so-called flavors that you have. So yeah, this is completely gone. Okay, next up is the cactus one. I try to compact my bathroom uh, when this happens because this is like really you know thick and bulky and stuff like that. And you know sheet masks don't need, really need to be stored with care. Uh, they can be compressed to a certain extent. So yeah. Still on the topic of mask, I have finished using my last SK2 mask and uh, this is the Whitening Sauce Derm Reviver Mask. I actually like this one better than the uh, two sheet ones because this is in a whole, uh, this is one sheet mask in itself. It's not like you have to put the top layer, then the bottom layer like um, another uh, SK2 mask that I've used before is in the red packaging so I really like this better because um, the material is also very good and uh, the amount of fluid that you can see is still wet even though I've been uh, I've used this like a couple weeks ago um, it's really really drenched all over with the essence so if you want to try I know this is a little bit pricey you can do so at your own leisure okay uh, next up this is uh, my Fresh Look Luminate Siba, uh, by Siba Vision. I do have one more pair of this left I believe and I'll be using it up. This is the one day colour contact lenses that illuminates or rather it widens your pupils. Yeah. So I really like the look of this and I would be repurchasing this again but not so soon because I do still have like others that I want to use up so yeah this is lovely I I think there are more designs um, you know you can see the design yeah there are more designs um, that they have so visit optometrist if you do ever want to buy contact lenses and don't buy contact lenses from unknown sources or unreliable sources because you can really get very nasty eye infections all right okay um next up this concealer by body shop it is truly well loved as you can see and i love the color it really matches my skin really well i would repurchase this again this is i believe the um second time that i'm using this one um or more than the second time i think i've repurchased this many times so many times that i forgot you know how many times that i actually purchased this but um yeah, it, it, do, it doesn't come like with a whole lot of product. You, you just gotta sharpen it as you go as well. So I guess the original length is probably like this, I guess. I'm not too sure, but I like it enough to repurchase it. So consistency wise, uh, it's really blendable. It's easy to cover your blemishes. I really like this and this is very compact. So do give this a try from Body Shop, yeah. Okay, the next one here is a sample, uh, sample inglet uh, foundation. I, uh, it's forty six shade forty six. Uh, this sample, uh, I've got it in Australia before my move back, and uh, I don't really like the consistency of it. I think it does break me out a little, and the shade is um, a little bit dark for me currently because I'm fairer now. Um, 
we don't have inglet in Singapore so the nearest inglet that you can get is uh, in KL I believe in Malaysia but uh, I think I still do think that inglet is worth a try because um, I do actually have inglet lipsticks and I, I, I love it so uh, if you do want to try um, there's no harm trying I believe they do give out samples as well I've used up inglet's uh, primer before so that's not too bad so if you want to try at your own risk but I, I don't like the foundation it doesn't work for me okay the next up is Revlon lip butter and this one is in shade 20 brown sugar I don't particularly love the shade but I like it for the moisture that it gives me um, I know that I still do have some product left that I should probably be trying to use it all up but um, at this point here uh, there is this little break here and I'm not gonna risk it um, to continue using it at the max I will just you know put it to this length and try to use it and because of the way that the packaging is I can't really get an even application so I've decided since I have so many lipsticks to pen this has got to go so that's it and you know I'll definitely um, try or rather buy this again at some point but not now because I'm still on the street no buy and I'm still trying to use up all the products that I said that I'll use up so uh, no more lipsticks in the next however many months till I've penned or weaned down at least a little bit my uh, lipstick collection yet yeah, so this has got to go okay um this one here is a mascara sample from YSL I've got this when I bought uh, a bunch of YSL products online um, I can't remember which store though but the sad thing is I've kept this for so long because I felt that you know it's so precious I don't want to open it yet to try and everything and I still have my Urban Decay sample science mascara because Honestly, I don't really use mascara because I find that it's really hard to remove and you know, my lashes do tend to fall out easily. So I was saving this until one day I've, you know, I opened it up and I tried it. It had completely dried up as in like really, really dry. It's really, really dried up as in I can hold this. Oh, I guess not. But as you can see, it's not like those really really uh, easy to easy to you know apply on anymore so really I'm gonna let this go and I'm really really sad that I didn't really get to try it I don't know if you can see it. it's not like wet it's like dry so it's really dried up so yeah wiping this on my wipe here so, I, I, I am lost for words I'm such a hoarder I know Okay, the next thing that I've used up is a sample size of the Sabai Arum um, Hand and Nail Cream. This is in Divine Mango. I love this so much, but uh, the formula is really thick and really, really buttery. As in like straight up, when you squeeze it on and it gets into contact with the heat that's on your hand, it starts to melt. So uh, one sample size like this could last you probably for like two, three applications. I highly suggest that if you ever do buy this in the sample signs like this sachet form you've got to really ration it out or try to finish using it up some way or share with your friends, mom or girlfriends or anything try to uh, use it up all in one go if not you will start to oxidize but the mango smell is divine I will buy it if it comes in a you know like squeeze type bottle uh, thing this is good, this is from Thailand by the way Okay, clean and clear deep action cleansing wipes. Uh, I like this one. I really do. But it's not sold in Singapore, the last I've checked. So if you guys know that if it's sold in Singapore in Watsons or Guardians or whatever, please leave me a comment telling me where I can get this because this is good. I'll repurchase it. Uh, enough said. Okay, the next thing that I've used up is hair product and this is the ASEAN's, ASEAN's Nature Smooth Conditioner. I have got the um, shampoo long long time ago so that was used up quite some time back when I was still in Australia so this one really took me a really really long time to get through not that I've started using it like in 2011 I didn't I, I think I just started using it 
midway through 2012 and it really lasted me that long so this one I really like the way that it smelled and I really like the way that it um, it leaves my hair uh, silky and smooth so um, life changing I don't really think so I hardly ever have shampoos or conditioners that are life life saving or you know um, you know really make such a big difference in my hair uh, but this is good enough a product that I would repurchase it again so yeah it can be found at any Watson's, Guardian's, Fairprice, wherever that you can you know whatever drugstore that you can find in Singapore yeah just uh, go ahead and try one of these this is in a green bottle they do have um, if I'm not wrong the original one is a uh, golden yellow bottle I'm not too sure whether they do have the pink one but do read what it is for before you you know buy the wrong one for your scalp and hair Okay, this one is one of my favorite body washes. It's by Alvino. It's not sold in Singapore, however. Uh, in my last trip to Australia sometime in June last year, I've got two more of these. I've finished this one and the other one is in my shower, which I'll be emptying soon, I believe. So this one's really good. If I could buy um, a bottle, a pump bottle like the one that uh, is like my conditional kind of bottle I would love to buy it in that size and in that container so yeah this is really good okay next up I have finished two uh, body washes by uh, Katrina Nifflin this is the La Sauce range I really love this range for the smell of it um, the moisturizing capability uh, it's so so um, would I repurchase it again? Yes, I would. I think it's uh, good enough for me to repurchase it again, but it's not those life-changing moments that you get. Yeah, so this is these two sample signs are done. Okay, the next one is Handalabo. This is my second bottle of the sample size one. I'm still um, not committing to a full size bottle yet because although I think that this is a really great product, it really... Um, sucks up all the moisture from your mask when you use this before your mask app application uh, but for me now I still have a lot of moisturizers and etc to use up so I won't be buying a full size bottle of this until everything gets used up properly yeah so yeah but if you guys want to find a you know a serum kind of thing that helps you retain your moisture go for this one I really highly recommend this okay next up I'm gonna show you uh, a Yankee candle cover this one is actually uh, Midsummer's Night if I'm not wrong the scent and it's phenomenal it's really 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 good so if you guys want to try um, Midsummer's Night if I'm not wrong and uh, it's it's a very dark blue candle I highly suggest you get this yeah okay as usual my angry birds wipe uh, I'm, I'm so crazy over this this is my last few I believe I do have one or two more of these so yeah um, I go through this very quickly yeah pack of uh, 10 each okay next up uh, square puffs actually I started with like this much of the cotton puffs I don't know when I started using this but this is definitely not mine I didn't buy this it's given to me by my sister but as you can tell everything is gone so I finished using it up for her that's great okay the next thing that I've panned is Lancome Genifique and this is the humongous bottle that I've got um, this is the Travel Science Limited uh, Limited Edition? No. Yeah. I don't know um, they do sell this big a bottle only uh, at certain airports so I got it there and today I finished it like I said I would and I'm so thankful I finished it because I can go on and move on to the next Lancome um, youth thing I, I can't remember it's like a blue bottle I think so yeah I will you know move on to that one and I'll show you the box uh, when I unbox it uh, in the next empties okay um, bronzer this bronzer was given to me by my sister this is a can make uh, bronzer I believe they don't make this anymore this is in O2 and um, 
I made a hole in it, but uh, I can't really use it all up. The thing with me is I see people who use the whole product up and I wonder how do they ever do it. Because for me, the, the most agonizing thing about using a product is when you made a hole in the middle and you got to try to use it up in some way or other. But you know when your brush swirls around, the product doesn't distribute evenly and that gets to me. Uh, it really really gets to me. So after trying to make the hole bigger and trying to really use it up till it's really 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 pan, I've decided I've got to move on. So this one is going into bean even though like now you can't get it anymore. Uh, I've loved it for that long and I believe this is a three year old product. I've, I'm done. I'm calling it a day. So thank you for serving me. Um, it, it's not a bad bronzer. It's a little bit shimmery but you can't see the shimmer. Uh, a little bit orange cast but you can still work it. So thank you so much. You have created great photos for me. Thanks. Can make. Okay, that's into the bin. And the next one is my Laura Mercier uh, Mineral Foundation if I'm not wrong. So this one, as you can tell, it's a really 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 big hole in the middle. And like I've mentioned, I've really tried so hard to use it all up, especially the product at the sides. Uh, but I'm really, really sad that I have to let this go because I just can't, you know, complete using this. I'm really tired of trying to scrape the sides. So really, this has got to go. It has served me well though. Um, the only thing that I don't like about this and that's the probably the reason why I would not repurchase this is because when I put it on with a brush sometimes it feels like the powder is not really blended in even though I have like tried my best to you know sink the powder into your skin a little bit more so it always ends up a little bit cakey a little bit like the powder sitting on the surface of your skin that sort of thing um, if you're into that well that's fine you can purchase this and give it a go but if you're not then I highly suggest you know give this one a miss maybe try some other foundations by Laura Mercier because they are quite a good brand okay the next thing that I is quite disgusting I can't I, I don't know if you can see this on camera but I didn't kept this uh, properly after my last use so there's a little bit of like algae forms on it uh, this is the um, Celebrity's Choice. This is uh, Inch Lost. What it does is it's like a month program or rather a 28 days um, shower thing where you massage into your body. It's like a scrub as well. It helps you lose inches. Um, whether it works or not, I can't really tell because to me it doesn't really make a, that big a difference. Not a life changing difference for me. The scent is very good. I would repurchase this again. In fact, I think this is my second, uh, second time that I'm repurchasing this. Um, I like it for a scrub, but I don't really think that it does exactly what it's supposed to do. Or maybe I've been using it wrong. Um, why I repurchase it again? Maybe, maybe not, but not in the short term. So this has got to go into the bin because it's really disgusting. And I didn't finish using this up, by the way. I, I just can't because... Yeah, you know, it's it's having algae there. Okay, these are the products that I'll be tossing away straight up. Um, this is by Bioskin. This is the brightening serum, and I I'm really scared of using this because I do have bad uh bad reaction with Bioskin products before, and Bioskin is a facial place that I've been going to. Um, my advice is if your skin is sensitive don't try their stuff because I think their stuff is kind of potent and the other one which I have been using and I have tried is the Bioskin Acne uh, Serum this goes before you put on your uh, conditioner but I don't really think that it works for me uh, so I'm letting it go and the other one is Burt's Bees uh, Replenishing Lip Balm with Pomegranate Oil. I actually do love this a lot. I've been using it so much in uh, Australia. And then I lost it and then I found it again. And uh, because this product is so old and I don't like putting like really, really old lip products on myself. So 
I've decided to let this go and um, yeah would I repurchase it again yes I would um, this is red by the way so it does give your lips a tint um, but the smell is phenomenal it still smells good by the way but yeah just letting this go for now and probably repurchase it again sometime later okay so this is everything in my vintage trash can see you guys next time thanks for watching this really truncated and really long video so if you guys have uh, any empties you can do video response or you can comment whichever that suits your preference and i'm so out of breath thanks for watching once again and uh, see you guys in february bye